Hey guys, it's Monica. I thought I would do this really cool tag that I saw on Rod Raw Beauty Christie's channel. I'm going to link her channel below. I'm also going to link the questions below. I also saw these this tag done on Marlene Fab and Glam's channel and Life with Lily Sheila's channel. I'll be sure to link their channel as well. I haven't seen at the time of this filming any other mature beauty community women doing the tag, but I thought it was really kind of a good one to do. So I'm going to have Jay, who's off camera, unless he wants to pop in camera. There he is. Um, read the questions to me so that I can actually answer the questions. And there's, I think, 10 questions. So go ahead, Mr. J. Number one, do you subscribe right away when you find a new channel or video or try a few videos first? Um, I do not usually subscribe right away. I usually watch a couple of videos. Sometimes if I've discovered a new channel or someone that's new to me anyways, I might watch a few of their videos and then make a decision. I'll go into their channel, lay out, look at their channel, and, and then make the decision. But I don't usually subscribe immediately. Okay, number two. Does the make sure you subscribe mantra ever sway you to subscribe? It actually does the, it does sway me to subscribe at times. It also sways me to not subscribe at times. So when, to me, being in real estate, to me, that's a call to action. And that's something that I teach all real estate agents is you've got to have the call to action. So I often will say, please subscribe. So when I'm watching a video and they say, please subscribe, and I'm looking at them and I can see that they're a smaller channel. And when I mean smaller, I mean like my size, smaller than me, bigger than me, then it does sway me. But when they're like 100,000 subscribers or more or even, you know, 80 or something, at, at that point in time, I figured they, they're really not talking to me. It's probably just an automatic thing because they probably don't even know or wouldn't even be impacted if I subscribe or not. So yes, it sways me, and for the, both the good and the bad, I guess. <laughs> Number three, how many channels do you have the notification bell turned on for? How many channels do I have the notification bell turned on for? You know, I hate to admit, but not very off, not very many. I, I had thought about this when I saw the tag originally, and I actually counted up, and I'm not going to tell you who, but I actually have it turned on for nine people. Oh, very good. Four, do you watch every video from your subscription feed or only your favorites? I do not watch every video from my subscription feed. It would be totally impossible for me to do that. So especially if, say, someone that I'm subscribed to does three or four videos a week, and if their videos are long, like mine tend to be, it, it's difficult to watch it all. There's only so much time to go around. I do try to watch every video from my favorites. It may not be immediately that day, but most of the people that I really, really watch and are my favorites might upload once or twice a week. So I just go back and try to catch up on the ones I missed. Number five, how many channels do you never miss an upload for, no matter how busy you are? That was number five? Yeah. What was number four? Did you skip one? No, I miscounted. So I guess I sort of answered that one on number four because it, I would never miss watching a video from my favorites. And again, those are the people that I probably have the bell rung for that might upload nine times, you know, my, there might be nine of them and they upload once or twice a week. I may not watch it right away. I may have to put it in my safe for later, but I will eventually go back and watch it for sure. Unless I'm out of the country and I'm away in Bar Harbor and I have no Wi-Fi and during that time frame, I do miss a lot. Number six, what kind of commenter are you? What kind of commenter am I? I usually have a lot of misspelled words, <laughs> which is true. Um, I am more of a short to the point type of a commenter. I don't tend to leave long detailed comments um, unless there's something that really inspires me that I really want to say. But again, you know, that's just me. I enjoy reading long detailed comments and I like answering them on my channel, but I don't tend to leave really long detailed comments. So you mean you don't ramble on like you do on your videos? I don't ramble on like I do on my videos. Oh, okay. <laughs> Number seven. Bad boy. Do you, do you skip ads or watch? 
Um, if, if it is someone that I really, really like, I watch the ads. If it is someone that I don't think, you know, that there's an impact on, I don't watch. I'll skip right over them. And that's usually a super, super large channel. I know that's probably a wrong attitude to have. But if it's a growing channel, a small channel, and I really enjoy the content creator and I feel connected with that person, I watch those ads. I try to support them. Okay. Eight. Do you speed up videos? <laughs> I do speed up videos at times. Uh, typically, if I speed up a video, it could be like, say, for example, someone doesn't get ready with me. They tend to be long, and there are, tend to be times when they're showing what they're doing and all you hear is music. They're not really talking. I'll speed it up because I, I don't have 30 minutes to watch someone apply their, their makeup. I would rather see the highlights of it. I'd rather see the, the end results and you know description of what you're using, how you got there. So yeah, I do speed up videos at times. Not all the time, but sometimes. Number nine. Do you click affiliate links or use affiliate codes? Why do you have that sarcastic reading voice? I just, because I've been reading all day and I'm trying to emphasize. Oh, he's trying to emphasize. He was teaching all day. Yeah. Hopefully you weren't reading all day while you were teaching all day. <laughs> what was that question? Do you click affiliate links or use affiliate codes? Oh, yes, I do. I, I, if I'm going to buy something that a content creator has talked about and they have an affiliate code, a link, I will definitely click it. I mean, to me, what are they going to make? A couple of pennies, if that, you know? I'll support that content creator that I really enjoy watching, and I'll click their links, and I don't care if their video is sponsored as long as they tell me. If they get a free product, I'm all for it. Go for it, baby. Yeah, I click your, your links. Ten, what's your preference when it comes to video length? Your sweet spot. My sweet spot? Yeah, I know what your sweet spot is. Am I going to have to delete you? <laughs> you terrible. I'm going to leave that in. I'm going to leave that in. The um, <laughs> Sorry. What was the question? Never mind. <laughs> it's the length of the video, right? <laughs> so, um, as a as a viewer, I will watch a long video. I'll watch a vlog style video if I'm interested. If someone, like in a vlog video, if they're showing different parts of the country, you know, like a lot of times I'll, when, say, Gail, Random Life Production, she's showing parts of London or she goes to the, you know, Wales or something like that. I don't care how long that is, I'll watch it. That I'm interested in. Um, if a video is like someone, again, doing a get ready with me and it's just, you know, blah, 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 I will not, you know, I'll skip through it, I'll go fast forward. So to me, I don't care if it's 20 minutes or a 40 minute video if I'm interested. I have a problem with live streams after the fact because I can't feel connected or engaged to watch a live stream after the fact and they tend to be way too long for me. So when I do my videos, I really prefer to be under 15 minutes, but I am lucky if I'm under 30 minutes lately. Number 11. Is it 11? Yeah, there's 13. Oh, we better hurry up. Yeah, do you thumbs up most videos? If I'm going to watch a video, I will thumbs up a video. If it's not a, if it's a video that I don't like the topic, I won't watch it. Um, if it's the content creator that I don't like, I just won't watch it. I don't go and thumbs down the video. I just don't watch it. So if I'm going to watch a video, I'm going to usually leave a comment and I'm going to thumbs up that video, no matter what the content it is. If I'm going to watch it, you get a thumbs up. Yeah, and that's going to answer number 12, because number 12 is, do you ever thumbs down a video? Do I ever thumbs down? Um, you know, like I said, I don't really... If there's, if there's someone that, it takes a lot for me to thumbs down a video, although I realize that as far as YouTube is concerned, it doesn't matter if it's a thumbs down or a thumbs up, it's activity. So I know if I'm going to thumbs down a video, I'm actually helping that content creator. And if I really don't like that content creator and I don't like their message, then I'm not going to watch it. But if I'm going to watch it, I'm going to give them a thumbs up rather than a thumbs down. I get thumbs down. And... I, you know, I've had to train my brain to look at those thumbs down as a thank you to that person because you're giving me an activity where you might not have given that if you just skimmed by my video. So, um, 
Yeah, I very, I can't even, I think maybe once or twice that I can ever remember really ever having done a thumbs down. Okay, last 13. Do you share other YouTubers' videos on your social media? All the time. All the time. My favorites, anyways. So, if, uh, if I'm watching a video from a fellow content creator that I really like, I, I very often will share it to my Pinterest page, I'll share it to my Twitter, I'll put it on Tumblr. There's a couple of different shares that I do for those content creators, but I don't do it for everyone. Um, I also have a few content creators that I really enjoy a lot. So if you go to my channel page, you actually click on my name and you go to where my channel layout is, on one side, I have something called rocking channels or something like that. And that is where a where if you manipulate, not manipulate, but if you manage the layout of your page and you create playlists and all that, but that is where you can actually highlight other channels that you really enjoy. So I have a few there, not a lot, but, um, but I have a few there. And I don't even know that those people that I have there all but one, which would be um, Fred, Fred? From Canada uh, all but one even know that they're listed on my sidebar like that but yeah I I share highlight and talk up other content creators videos that I really like okay that concludes your video that in and the, the name of this tag was what kind of subscriber are you I'll leave all the information I will copy the questions below so that if you want to actually do this tag, go for it. I think the more the merrier. And I look forward, let me know if you do do the tag. Let, you know, let me know so I can go and be sure to watch your video. But I think it's kind of interesting to really think about what kind of subscriber you are. We all know what kind of content creator we are, but how about how are we as subscribers? Yeah, I like that idea. Very good. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. And I will chat with you later. And and thank you to my Vanna. Are you my Vanna? Yeah. You're my you're my Vanna Vanna. Yeah. I, I'm going back to watch golf. Can you get your camera and take a couple of pictures of my? Yep. How do you like my hair, guys? Isn't that beautiful? Jay's uh, Jay has to get used to me with the darker look, but I like it a lot. So thanks so much, guys.